Happy Wednesday. It's another hump day, and it's another day for today's Talk to Party G. I am Party G, and I have a really good friend with me today. It is Jeanette Montague. Montague, Montague. Jeanette Montague. Is it Montague? I never know how it's to Montague. pronounce your name. It's Montague. 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 It's Montague. It's Romeo's last name. For Romeo's. Okay, so are you a descendant? No, my ex-husband's grandfather purchased it during World War II because they were Jewish. They purchased it from the British Crown. So it is Romeo's last name. He purchased the name? Mm-hmm. How do you purchase the name? That's kind of cool. In the UK, you get to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is very cool. So Jeanette Montague from Farmers Insurance. Yes. Thanks for joining me, Jeanette. We're good friends, and I'm glad that you sat down with me. We talk all the time, but I didn't want to get a chance to get you on cam to talk about, you know, you've seen a thing or two because you, you know a thing or two because you've seen a thing or two, right? Absolutely. I've seen more <laughs> than a thing or two. <laughs> so tell me about farmers. What, what is so spe specific about farmers? How long have you been an agent? I've been an agent for four years as of the 1st of July. Okay, well, so almost happy anniversary. Almost, yep, almost happy anniversary. Okay, so as of the 4th of July? 1st of July. 1st of July. So July then happy 1st. anniversary. By the yeah. time this airs, it'll be anniversary time. It'll be anniversary time, yep. Happy I anniversary. Years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. What were you doing before insurance? I was an information systems analysis engineer. Wow. So you were a the nerd. The last position was doing audio video integration in operating rooms at the University of Washington Med Center and mm -hmm. Brooklyn Memorial Hospital in Dallas, Texas and the Reading, the Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. So you've got one of those high techy brains. Yes. So uh, I guess semantic, it's pretty Actually, I was an engineer next door at Semantic for three years. That's amazing. So you can probably find, find you can probably find solutions for people pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. I What's your things. go ahead. What I said, I fix things. That's you fix things. Oh yeah, my fix things. Okay. So I'm curious because somebody told me this once. Those commercials where there were always these really weird things from the uh, Parmes commercials. Do they they really submit those stories? Those are real stories, aren't they? Those are real stories. The one with the cougar was somebody local, as a matter of fact, that I talked right. to. That they said they had submitted that one. I really need to submit one for getting hit by a semi, but I never got around to it because I'm an idiot. I figured they wouldn't publish it. <laughs> <laughs> but those, are, those are actually events that really happened that people submitted. What are some of the wildest submissions you've ever had? What's the wildest you had? Well, they don't submit it to us. They go oh, okay. to California. Yeah, I've never had anybody submit one to me. Okay. Okay. So what's what, what do you what kind of what kind of insurance is your specialty? So I insure everything. Okay. <laughs> everything imaginable. So of the usual home, auto, life. Commercial, um, okay. your commercial, any kind of business from retail to warehouse to manufacturing to um, liability, professional liability, landscapers, artisans, you name it, we insure it. Kubota mm -hmm. is my favorite customer, has a Kubota, and I always wanted to drive one. Um, <laughs> 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 I always, every time he calls, it's like, it's a, it's a Kubota guy. Um, <laughs> We also own a company called Foremost, and Foremost is the leading, leading insurer of manufactured homes, recreational vehicles, watercraft, motorcycles, um, boats, ski doos, anything like that. Uh, okay. Foremost used to be AARP that manufactured, uh, the, that insured manufactured homes. There's still some of those policies out there. I work with real estate investors and I do a lot of flips, vacant properties. Foremost is the only one that will insure vacant properties. So I do a lot of that. And of course, life insurance, renter's insurance, I do it all. Well, you do do it all. Do you have an assistant or do you just do it all by yourself? I do it all by myself, yes. Oh goodness, you're a busy lady. Yes. So farmers is also unique in that if it's a risk that farmers won't take, we're allowed to go outside of farmers. 
farmers won't write commercial earthquake over a certain value. And uh -huh. I was able to go through a brokerage house who wrote it through Lloyd's of London for $5 million for apartment complex. And that's an apartment, apartment complex here local? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, do you practice your insurance? Is your insurance agency here just in Oregon or do you just go all over the place? No, I'm only licensed in Oregon. It is possible to get licensed in other states, but I have to be appointed through farmers and farmers doesn't like doing that unless you already have commercial policies. So it's a little tricky to get commercial policies in other states when you can't get appointed. <laughs> so. Okay, that's a good point. It's a very good point. So what do you like most about doing insurance? Helping people fix problems. That's what I've always done. Well, I mean, that's kind of an engineer brain, isn't it? Because I mean, yeah. <laughs> every engineer- It kind of is. It's, like, you see it's a problem, the same you gotta fix thing. It. Yeah. I, so I've been in customer service since I was 13 years old, which we're talking over 50 years. We'll just put it that way. And it's always been- 50 years, no way. Yes way. <laughs> 63. I don't believe it. Yeah. So my, my main job has always been helping people find answers to whatever their problem may be whether it's fixing an enterprise level server system or finding insurance for a new business that they're starting up. And now you said that, there's one of the questions I asked you, you, you said that you started this because no one would hire you. Yes, that's Tell A little bit about that. Oh, just age. <laughs> yeah. Age was alive and well. Um, in the IT field, you get laid off every 18 months to two years. It's just kind of normal. Mm -hmm. And I eventually got laid off and I was 67 years old and everybody told me I was overqualified. I couldn't even get an interview because I was overqualified, which means you're too old. That's ridiculous. And you weren't Against done working. men a third my age. And, and you and weren't done. No, never. Uh, my son has even admitted that I will never retire. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I've met you, you're just like going, 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 going. Well, I just opened up a second business, so I now do an RV share for a little site. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> tell me about that. Tell me about your RV share. How does that work? It's kind of fun. Um, I actually go through the online service RV share, and because I have a 26 foot uh, Four Winds RV that's brand new. And I don't get to get out as much as I would like to with the RV because I'm out backpacking. So yes. I started renting it out and it's as much fun renting it to people who have never gone camping and are so excited. I had one lady tell me, I didn't know it was so pretty on the lake at night. I've never done this before. That's cool. and it's a lot of fun to just share it with other people and let them get out and enjoy camping the and being out and outdoors like I do. So, so is, is it kind of like a B and B on wheels? Is that it's a B Airbnb works? on wheels? Air RV share handles all the arrangements. There's additional insurance through one of the companies that I write through actually mm -hmm. that protects me from any damages that they do. Um, they handle all the money so I don't have to worry about collecting money. They collect the deposit, they release it once I've cleared the the vehicle, I have one coming in this afternoon and I check the generator usage and the gas mileage. And, and once I've cleared it, that there's no damage, then RV share releases their deposit back to them. Mm -hmm. And it's just easy. I like it. Do you know, I got a question. Do you do business insurance? Yes, I do. I have my own. I might need to talk to you. I need business insurance. Pardon? I need business insurance. I forgot. I need to get that. Well, you should talk to me about business insurance. You should, at the very least, you need professional liability. Yeah, I don't really have any. I mean, I, there's not a lot that I do, but somebody's telling me I still need to get, like, just a basic policy. Yeah. You need, so o and &E, which is errors and emissions, okay. is liability insurance for creative people. Okay. So if your job is to build an electrical circuit that somebody else designed, you don't need professional liability insurance because somebody else designed it. 
But if you're the person who designed it and it's faulty, you need professional insurance. So you're doing your own gig. You're yeah, I'm a consultant. Yeah. And if you say something inadvertently that somebody sues you for, you need professional liability insurance. Hmm. And insurer through a company called Hiscox. Um, they're really easy. They do everything online. Um, I've had clients sitting with me when we submitted the payment online and you hear their phone ring and there's their policy. And in a year's time, it notifies them when it needs to be renewed. It sends them their certifications. It does everything for you. It's just, it's a great company. It runs about $500 a year for a million dollars worth of professional liability insurance. It's inexpensive and, and it keeps you protected because we live in a litigious society. People yes, say, we do. Yeah. We, we should probably talk offline. <laughs> yes, we should talk offline. I didn't know you didn't have any insurance. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it just hit me because I remember I was taking my business planning class, uh, business plan class, and uh, that was one of the things the instructor was talking to me about. Is like, well, you got to get your business insurance. I'm, like, what do we yeah. do? I'm not building anything. I'm not like, I, right. I don't have anybody doing anything that's going to hurt them or anything. But they said, oh, you just never know. And they made the same point about litigious it's a litigious well society. you can and you can make a suggestion to somebody that they try something and they do it and it works out badly and they hurt themselves and they blame you for it because right. it was your suggestion it was your idea so professional insurance protects you from your creative ideas that may go wrong somewhere along the line good point good point well, I'm not going to say there's something about here. You there's a reference here to you and dirt that I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> to me and what? And dirt. And dirt. Oh, you mean like I'm older than dirt? <laughs> I am. I'll be 71 next month. At 120, I might consider retiring. Maybe. 120. Yeah. Hmm. I retired 106. I don't think you'll slow down. I don't no. Really know. Yeah. No. I, I mean, no, literally, no. every time I see you, you're just go, 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 go. <laughs> well, so, I like that. My, my son and I just had this conversation, and he, because he was asking me when I was going to retire, mm -hmm. he finally said, I don't think retirement would be good for you. <laughs> You'd probably go stir crazy. I would. Absolutely. I need somewhere to go every morning. So what's your big, your biggest dream? What I think you have, what are some of the things you want to do? What's what's the biggest thing that you'd like to just accomplish? Well, actually next year, something on my bucket list. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm signing up for a 13-day trick in the Canadian trek, excuse me, not trick, trek in the Canadian <laughs> Rockies. Oh, very cool. Um, bam. Yeah. So it's a hiking backpacking trip in the Canadian. Are you Rockies. going alone? Oh no, it's a small group and, and it's a tour. So um, we spend half the nights in a hostel and half the nights camping and one night in the chalet, uh -huh. at Louise. So we're gonna do Banff and Lake Louise. This has been my dream for a long time. Um, in the last year, I've gotten really addicted to backpacking and I no longer care about cruising. I'd rather be out hoofing it somewhere, enjoying the scenery and being outdoors. All right. So if, if you if you want to get a hold of you for whatever, apparently, because you can insure just about anything, as I found out, what's the best way to get a hold of you? My phone number, office phone number, 541-687-6602. Or online at jmontague.com. Great. Do you have any parting thoughts? And I'll make sure I put that uh, that contact information in the in the notes as well. And any uh, parting thoughts to share? <sighs> If you have any questions, call me. I'm here for you. Okay, that's good enough for me. Well, thanks a lot for spending the time with me today. Stay cool. We've had a little bit of a heat wave lately, so hope you're a cool. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just this, a little bit. <laughs> this puts a whole new spin on sweating to the oldies because I'm old and I'm sweating. <laughs> and my office is cold. I had to put a, I had to put a sweater on this morning because. Oh my, my gosh! I envy you. My AC my AC <laughs> broke down. So um, maybe I'll come hang out in your office. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. It, it feels good. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Janet, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on with me, and I will see you later. 
See you later. See you bye. My deposit. Yep. 82 degrees. I left that jacket in my car. I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Hey, look. Came in with the what's that? Left out with the who she? Laying game like 2D. I've been kicking like Bruce Lee. Okay. Margarita to the brim tip. Black denim need a slim.